and welcome to another Friday Five. This week, another five things that's been going on. My name's George, if you don't know me already, and this is Feel Good Bicycles. Uh, number one, congratulations to Oshin Callahan for RT Young Sports Person of the Year. This is a fantastic achievement, and already we're seeing the signs of young and older people being inspired by him and um, pushing on on their own riding and their own training to to do as well as they can. So great to see what can be achieved. Like watching him in the downhill this season was. Um, was amazing just the, the first few results that he had and just he was going from strength to strength so uh, can't wait to see what this young fella has for next downhill season on the same topic of RT sports person of the year poor Sam Bennett not only did he get robbed the uh, the title of sports person of the year from a fantastic season last year but they also took the wrong photo of him for RTE so they they showed his teammate instead of him so poor Sam um, anyway, maybe next year they'll show the right person, right photo at least. Number two, check out this awesome custom Orbea Ockham that we just had in. Now I filmed this, or the customer has it already. We have um, done the custom paint work on this and also upgraded the components. So check out the bike check here. <laughs> This is the bike check for the Orbea M10 with the custom Mayo program from Orbea. The customer chose this lovely paint scheme which is a deep maroon and the gold logos on it. I think it goes really well with the Kashima coating on the fork shock and the seat post. The bike comes with Fox 34s as standard but we upgraded this to Fox 36s with 150mm travel. Standard is 140. DPX2 is the rear shock and that comes as standard on this model. But the dropper post, we upgraded it from Obeya OC2 dropper to the Fox transfer with the Kashima coating and it really matches in lovely with the rest of the gold decals and the fork and shocks. It's got a lovely snap to it as it comes to the top of its travel as well, it's a real snappy post. The standard bike actually comes with Max's high rollers so we upgraded those as well to uh, Minions DHF and DHR combo which is a cracking combo for fast rolling tyres but good and grippy too. The DT Swiss wheels come as standard as does the Shimano XT drivetrain and XT brakes. Absolutely cracking bike to ride. The new owner is going to be absolutely delighted with it when he swings the leg over and gets riding. Hope you like this bike check. George out. Number three, um, if you haven't seen it already, check out Danny McCaskill's new video, The Slab. It's all out of this world. <laughs> it's out of this world. The, how steep he's riding. This is what not people normally would climb up. He's riding down. Check it out. Number four, I'm gonna just show you the damage that salt corrosion can cause to a bike. Now, I've had this myself in the past, a good few years ago. Uh, roads were salty, went for a ride, actually went down to Bike Park Ireland, back when it was still open. Washed the bikes there, put them on the back of the car and drove home. Now all the salt on the roads got onto the bike and I put it in the shed, never thought about it, took it out about a week or two later and the bike was absolutely destroyed. The salt even went under the paintwork, everything was rusted. So be super, super careful if you have your bike on the back of a car and the roads are icy because the salt will really do a number on it. Check out this little video for some of the little things I noticed on a customer's bike that has been brought in and this is because of that same reason. This bike was uh, being carried on the back of a car. The roads were salted in the icy weather, so going to it from the trail. And then, so when it's put home, it was put into the shed, cleaned and put in the shed, but not cleaned enough. So you can see things here, like on the aluminium, the white salt corrosion in that. Bearings, taking a bit of a beating. This caliper here, we actually have already started cleaning this. It was way worse before, but See the bits of uh, white salt corrosion in there and things like derailers and your cables. They're just going to get absolutely destroyed. So be very careful 
of salt corrosion if you are carrying your bike on the back of a car give it a good 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 wash and a dry before you put it away into the shed number five it was great to see that in the midst of a global pandemic that they were you see i were still able to run the world cyclocross championships muddy sandy how, were you watching it let us know in the comments below and that's it for friday five uh, if you want to see anything if you have any questions pop them in the comments give me some ideas what do you want what would you like me to talk about or, or cover and for me back to building bikes we've had a big delivery got to get them built and out these are pretty much all sold by the way um so if you're waiting for a kona i'll be in touch in a minute